What's up guys, Goldfish here. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Domination today. And uh, first of all, I just want to thank iPod King Carter for giving me the opportunity to post this video on his channel. As you guys know, So You Think You Can Commentate is giving everyone a chance to uh, show a little bit about themselves and their channel. And uh, basically just um, give themselves a little bit of a chance to get some more exposure and things like that. So uh, I really want to thank him a lot for doing this, and um, I think like if you're a starting YouTuber, you should really try and get onto this, and uh, don't just do it for iPod King Carter, do it for as many channels as you can, because it can really help you grow your channel, and um, yeah. So as you guys heard, my name is Goldfish, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about my channel today. Um, I originally started my Call of Duty uh, commentary on Black Ops on my channel, and I recently got partnered with Machinima, and since doing so, um, I made a very stupid mistake of claiming my videos incorrectly, so I had to delete them all. So, now I'm stuck on 8 videos on my channel, and mostly it's uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3. Uh, just some little bit of background information, I first started gaming when I was, well, I don't know, 8 years old, 9 years old, uh, using 16-bit Sega Mega Drive and I used to play like NBA Live 96 on it or something like that and uh, that used to be the game that I played like all day every day and I used to play with the Chicago Bulls because back then Jordan was in the game and um, I think it was Jordan in the game, I can't remember man I, I, I was too young to follow basketball properly back then but um, I'm sure most of you guys like are a basketball fan seeing as you follow uh, I play King Carter and I would just like to say, like, uh, I follow the 76ers as well. Um, I've been following them ever since I started playing basketball, which is about seven or eight years ago, back when uh, Iverson was in his prime. And I've got to say, like, the way that Iverson fell out of uh, the 76ers was kind of a shame. I mean, he was a really respected player in his prime, but towards the end of his career, um, he really became, like, uh, kind of hated or disliked by a lot of NBA teams. They were kind of scared to pick him up because he thought he deserved um, a, a starting position, to say so. And, uh, I mean, he he was my idol until that happened. Like, basketball is the ultimate team sport, and if you can't really, uh, if you can't really play your part, if, you, if you're not meant to be in the starting five because you're aging, but you, you try to force it on your team that you're starting five, then I think that goes against the whole teamwork kind of thing of basketball. But hey, let's 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 talk a little bit about the 76 as well here, because um, they are doing pretty darn well this season. Well, so far, uh, most most of the people that are that are doubting the Sixers are saying they've they've been playing all the easy teams, they haven't been playing any of the hard teams. But if you give it some consideration, I mean, they they've come come very close against the hard teams they've played so far. The, the the hard teams that they've played so far, uh, they've lost within 10 points. They haven't been blown out or anything like that. So it's uh, very winnable for them. Um, and I, I, I like the way that uh, the Sixers are rolling this season. So yeah, I think it, it's looking good for us. Um, everyone, it, it reminds me of that Detroit team back in 2000, 2001 or something like that, where they had no like reasonable all-star they just had a very good team a very solid unit off the bench as well and that's how they won the championship so i don't know we could do we we could do it this year we might be able to do it next year i mean um i don't know sometime down the track i think there's a ring there for us to be taken um so moving away from the nba a little bit um just going back to my gaming history like i mentioned before i played uh, the sega mega drive that's like the first thing i ever played and then uh, I got my first computer when I was about 12 years old. I think it was like uh, AMD Athlon or something like that. I can't remember. And the only game I played on that was basically StarCraft 1 and Counter-Strike 1.6. And 1.6, no, well, not 1.6. It would have been like 1.3 or some 1.5 or something like that. And I didn't play online or anything like that. Back then I had like dial-up internet. Um, that's like 52 kilobytes per second internet. Um... And my cousin basically helped me install this thing called PodBots, P-O-D-Bots. And I just play that all day. It's my first experience with first-person shooters. And from there, I was basically hooked on first-person shooters. Um, I just played that for a long, long time. And I started playing 
a few MMOs as well, um, but nothing really in particular worth mentioning. Um, and then I got into competitive Counter-Strike Source, like really competitive, I played that for about four years. Um, really not getting anywhere worth noting, but uh, I did have a fun time playing competitively. It was like really lots of practice, lots of teamwork and all that kind of stuff. Met a lot of people doing so. And then, um, yeah, it brings me to where I am now. Like I played a lot of Modern Warfare 2. I'm playing a lot of Modern, Modern Warfare 3 now. And uh, I'm now playing Battlefield 3 competitively. Um, so that's basically bringing you guys up to scratch to where I am now. And I think that's, that's what I'm all about, competitive gaming. And I really think that competitive gaming deserves a lot more, a lot more credit for what it is. I mean, a lot of people, they don't understand how much teamwork and practice really goes into being a professional gamer. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a professional gamer myself, but I, I appreciate the fact that uh, how much people, like, how much these players, they, how much they put into it. And, um, like, if you guys think about it, uh, these guys have to start from a really, really young age. And they basically give up their childhood by doing it. They have, like, their education is gone. Um, any of their other aspirations are probably gone because they spend all their time practicing on these games. Especially StarCraft players. StarCraft players, um, StarCraft 2 players, uh, they basically practice like 5 to 8 hours a day. Um, in Korea, the pro teams, what they do, they live together and they play each other. Just game after game after game after game. And they analyze each other's replays just to find out what, what went wrong, what went well. And like this is, they, they make a living off this. I mean, um, it's, it's very strict routines that they have to follow. Certain times they have to wake up, certain times they have to um, practice, like certain deadlines they have to meet. And yeah, it, it does become really, really strict, but they do make a living out of it, so I guess it's just like any other job, if you think about it. Um, but yeah, like that's the thing about uh, esports or um, competitive gaming, if you want to call it like that. Uh, I think it deserves a lot more credit than, it actually, than what it actually has right now. Um, but yeah, that's my little ramble on my my experience with competitive gaming and things like that. So, I haven't really spoken about what you really are going to be expecting from my channel if you want to check me out. Um, well, my channel, I usually use Modern Warfare 3 for the casual commentary like I'm doing now. Like, it's just for casual commentary. I upload Battlefield 3 really for uh, only my competitive clips, like uh, montages of my competitive matches. And really, that's about it for those two games. I'm really looking to start some Let's Plays sometime soon. Um, but it's just at the moment I'm I'm waiting to finish off my summer school exams, uh, which is about three days from now. So once I get those done, um, I'll be posting a lot more content on my channel. Um, I'm also doing a top five Counter Strike player of the month, which is going to be released today as I'm commentating this. I'm not sure when this will be going up on iPod King Carter's channel, but um, there's a top five Counter Strike plays uh, series on my channel as well. So if you're a Counter Strike fan, um, go ahead and check that out. Uh, the only reason I do that is because I have this immense respect for Counter-Strike. It's such a steep learning curve. And, um, yeah, going to be doing some Let's Plays of a few games. I'm thinking of doing a Road to Commander for Modern Warfare 3 as well. So, yeah, guys, um, I think that basically wraps up uh, everything that I'm going to be covering uh, in the near future anyway. So, if you guys have any ideas or any feedback for me on um, on my channel or what, video, what games you would like to see me do a Let's Play of, uh, be feel more than free, uh, well, feel free to just drop me drop me a line, drop me a PM or something like that, or even in the comments below in this video, and uh, make sure you like like this video uh, for iPod King Carter, I mean, this is on his channel anyway, so give him some ratings and things like that, uh, I, just, I really appreciate him giving me the chance to put this commentary on his channel, and uh, yeah guys, I thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, leave you guys the rest of this gameplay to enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later, have a good day.